So in this video, I have the highly sought after options tactician over at Piranha Profits, who's Bang Farm. So I think for Bang himself, he has been trading options very actively over the last decade or so. So maybe for our viewers that um, hasn't really followed us, maybe Bang, you want to do a quick introduction of yourself, your experience and how you have been trading the markets thus far. So uh, you can call me Bang, B-A-N-G, is that how uh, my name is called? I've been trading for 23 years since I, you know, since 2000. And I started with stock trading. But then over the past, uh, I would say 18 years, when I got to know options, and I stopped trading stocks, I only use option for trading. And within that 18 years, have seven years of option coaching. Now option trading and, tr and coaching has been my passion for many years. I recently retired from my full-time job where I work as a group, di uh, group finance director in one of the significant business units. I thought now I'd just like to dedicate my time for helping Priyana Profits to you know, help our students because the community is now growing. And I really love to share my knowledge on options and help the students who get on board. And hopefully they can avoid making big mistakes that I made in the early years of option trading. Right. So currently, if I can ask, um, what's your options trading results thus far on a year to date or maybe on a rolling three to five year basis? Yeah, this year has been good. 2023, uh, as of now, is like 11, maybe 10 and is that 10 and a half months now? So we still have one and a half months to go. And I have achieved uh, on average five account combined. Uh, I have five accounts in different platforms and total of them, I got 70%, 70% return on investment. Some of the account, I more than double, but some, the, some of the accounts I got like 25, 30%, but on average it's the 70%. Now this year has been a good year because you know the market, I mean, the bull market has been back on average over the past one decade of trading options, I mean, seriously, I've been achieving a pretty good result between 25% to 35% annually on average. That's actually quite a significant outperformance as well, right? I think I just did a quick check. Um, the SPY, which is S&P 500, year to date is around 18%. So that's okay. at least three, four on um 70% mm -hmm. result. So I think maybe we wanted to specifically talk about options, right? Can I understand why did you yourself start trading options and why, what, what do you love most about it? Yeah, so I got to know options, as I said, 18 years ago, and I just amazed with the power of options, the flexibility of using different strategies to cater different setup and different market environment. I love it. And I say, okay, this is the one I like to use from now on. And that's why I stopped trading stocks. And in it, one of the, I mean, a few key benefits of options that make me stick to it. Uh, number one, uh, it uses less capital. When you trade the same position, when you buy stocks, you need a bigger capital. But for options, you use a fraction of the capital. And in fact, in many strategies that I'm using now, I use one fourth or one fifth of the capitals as compared to buying shares or selling shares. So much better capital utilization and that translates into a significant increase in the return on investment because you make almost the same absolute profit, but on a fraction of the capital, you can imagine that return on investment would be very high. That's why the number I show you, that's why I beat the market. That's number one. Number two, you don't have to settle for 50-50 chance when you trade options. You know, when you trade stock, no, no matter how good the setup is, you don't know the next move of the stock will be up or down. It's really 50-50 chance. So, but option, you can predefine the probability of winning for your trade well in advance before you enter the trade. That's what I love. I can construct very high probability trade, like 80, 85, even 90% chance of winning. Or if I want to take a little bit more risk for a higher return, I could go as low as like 55, 60%. But again, I that's my choice. I know exactly 
uh, the art of winning before I enter the trade. The third benefit that I like about the option is when you trade options, you set a predefined max loss for your trade. You know what is your max risk and you cannot lose more than that. For stock, I know that you can set a stop loss for your trade, but it's not a guarantee that you can get stopped out at a certain point, right? So when you set a stop loss for your trade, but the price gaps down significantly, then you would still need to get out at a bigger loss than you tend to lose, right? You want to lose. Then in this case, I prefer option because you cannot lose more than the max loss that you have predefined before you enter the trade. Right, Bang. I think from your response, right, you feel like somebody that likes to be very precise. You like to you like to limit what you can and cannot do and make sure that um things cannot just turn south and just catch you off guard, right? Is, is that a right assessment? Okay, can. That's correct. Right. So I, I think also I wanted to ask you, because you have been coaching for quite some time, were there any interesting stories like off the top of your head you can share a particular student that left a very deep impression um, on you? Yeah, I remember vividly that during the COVID lockdown, I think it's early 2000 and maybe late 2000, when people get locked down in their home and could not go out. I I had one student who, at that point in time, he was a pilot, pilot of an airline in the US, I believe. But the airlines like shut down a lot of flights. So he was grounded. He could not, he actually, he got retrenched. Right. And he took the option course that we have there. He shared a lot of learnings in the community groups. And in fact, he achieved a very good return after a few months' time. And he very unselfishly shared all the learnings with the community. And you at the end he say he maybe the retrenchment, the retrenchment from the COVID turns out to be a blessing this guy for him. Because he now don't need to rely on the pilot job to earn the income because he can earn his own money or uh, salary without having to work for anyone. So that's really leaves some impression on me that, hey, this is something that people can do. Right. I think that story definitely sounds inspiring, particularly for um, people that are seeking another way of also earning income for themselves. So I think maybe yeah. just to pivot into um, the specific cost bundle, I do know that Currently, um, Piranha Profits is offering an options trading mastery package, right? So there are technically two levels to it. So level one is called the option Iron Shell and level two is called the options Iron Striker. So maybe if you can provide us with a brief overview, what exactly is the difference between level one and level two? Yeah, so level one Iron, Iron Shell is a foundational part of the option training where we teach the basics of options from what it, how it works, you know, the call, the put and buy and sell, the Greeks, volatilities, all those kinds of basic things. But it is extremely important for students to know all of this before they get into the strategy part. On top of that, we also teach basic option strategy, like selling a cover call or a cash secure put. And also it caters to new option traders and especially for those who have a smaller account, strategies that uses less capital, like a boom call spread, like a bear put spread, we call it a debit um, vertical spread. Level number two is obviously an advanced level, we call it iron striker, where we have numerous number of strategies. And by the way, we keep adding to the list as well. So level two focus, uh, focuses a lot more on the selling of the options because you know after many years of option uh, trading i realized that to be making a consistent profit you need to be an option seller not the op not the option buyer uh, so level two is on about how to make the option work in your favor especially on the time decay how can you make the option trade works for you even when you are on vacation when you are sleeping over the weekend, doesn't matter. So that is on about option selling, where you got the premium, you collect the premium, the concept of selling insurance and also get the reinsurance to protect yourself. So I love the option level two because it's quite 
advanced and it has so many tools. It's like the Swift Army Nice, which has so many different ways for you to trade the market, regardless of the market conditions. And as I said, when we started out, we have had only six or seven strategies in the level two. Now we have like 15, right? That's because Adam and me has been adding to the list of the toolbox that we have there and we continue to do so in the future. So I would really love people to get into level two as well so that they know that there's so many other ways to make money. Right. Thanks, Bang, for sharing. So I think we also know that um, in the current mastery package itself, there are many strategies that are shared, right? So if you can only choose maybe one powerful lesson from the course itself, what would it be? For me, it's about selling versus buying, obviously. I tell you the 18 years of ocean trading, the first seven years I've been going, I, I went in a circle, right? I got hits and mids on the time. In fact, I blew my account a few times, small one, and I made a lot of costly mistakes during that time. But overall, I was, I was a buyer of options. And I think that is a mistake. But after I have learned option properly, I realized that that's not the right way to trade options. It's it's at best you could get some um, very, you know, you could get some big prices, but it's very inconsistent. As based on my experience, you I lost money most of the time when I buy option, right? And then when I took the proper training of option, I realized that that was the wrong way to do and I became an option seller where I make consistent profit. Most of people nowadays, when they trade option, they continue to be a buyer. And I really want to uh, help and make them understand that that is not the right way to trade option. Because based on my experience, sellers are the one who make the most of the money uh, most of the time. Right. I think also one unique part about um, the causes that we offer, we actually place a lot of emphasis and focus in terms of psychology. Basically, trader psychology on how to manage um, your trade. That's the technical part of things. But I think on the other side, let's not forget there's a human operator behind this. So us as human beings, we are usually the weakest point, right? So we, yeah. we, we might have a strategy moving forward. We have a trading plan. And then when things turn south, we don't follow our trading plan and we execute maybe a discretionary way. So maybe I just wanted to ask you uh, your, your own perspective on why is it important to learn about trading psychology and what do you think it's more unique in terms of how we um, teach students in Piranha Profits? Oh, psychology, emotion, and uh, risk management is very crucial part of option trading and in trading in general, because most of the time when you make mistake is when you are either get, getting greedy, right? You're getting greedy, you, you increase your positions beyond your affordability or your accounts. For example, somebody say, I want to lose only maximum 2% of my account in every single trade. But then when they have the winning streak, they tend to feel complacent and invincible. And they started to increase their position beyond their account ability. And before you know it, the market slapped in their face and then you could lose a, a huge amount of money. I myself did it in the past. Normal human emotion, I would say. So stay disciplined with the position sizing is very important. Be disciplined in cutting losses and taking profits. That's another one. Be disciplined in taking profit is even more difficult than in taking losses. Surprisingly, but that is how it is. You tend to have very strange emotion when your trade is winning and you have some inner voice in yourself and then saying, hey, if I just hone on to the trade a few more days, I could make a lot more money but that could be a, a perfect setup for a disaster. A market can turn any any time. Um, if able to, maybe you might want to, we can do a simple case study or maybe a trade review of some sort where you talk about one of your most recent um, wins um, that is profitable and maybe one of your most recent loss. What was your top process behind each trade? The, obviously, I may want to refer to the biggest winner in this year for me, which is uh, when we, one trade, we call it Crouching Bull spread my own proprietary strategies that I created. So I use it on 
Alphabet, Google, right? And uh, at the beginning of the trade, the the stock price went like sideways, despite the fact that other AI stock went up significantly, like Amazon, like Microsoft, like Meta. But the trade doing fine because the strategy was designed in a way that it should do well even when the market goes sideways on the price goes sideways. So the trade did not make a lot of money, but I just I know that it's just a matter of time when Google will catch up with the rest of the AI stocks. And after two months, it started to explode to the upside and the trade generated significant profits. As of last Friday, I remember, it generated now $65,000 in one single trade. And I'm still having it open. So probably that's one of the best trades that I have done in this year. Now, as for losing trade, you know, I've been testing a new strategy called Jade Lizard. And among those trades that I've done, I did it on rather speculative stocks, but I, I thought this could be just a test to see how it goes. And, uh, and then, you know, when you trade on speculative stocks, the probability of the price to, to move up or down significantly is very high. And in fact, in that trade, the stock price gap down significantly. I, and I can tell you that's the Tesla stock, right? So I took the trade before the earnings and last earnings, uh, Tesla stock gap down, I think 10, more than 10%. And it caused some, uh, not a huge loss. I think it's only a thousand dollar loss, but um, it beyond my predefined max loss for the trade. I gave it a benefit of the down to see if it can recover in the second day. But in the second day, it continued to go lower. I have to cut loss. So, so I also wanted to get your thoughts a little bit on um, what exactly is your thought process when you try to screen for potential um, trade setups in the markets today? Do you, do you have a process to it? And is it taught in the course itself? Yeah, so in this uh, market environment, right, I my focus has been on those stocks where the company are profitable, generating a lot of cash. Because, you know, in a high interest rate environment, cash is no longer trash. Cash is king, right? So now the, those companies that have very high level of cash uh, pile, they can earn extra income from the cash as well. So I, I'm continuing to looking into those companies, you know, those names like Microsoft, Meta, Alphabet, Amazon even. Those and Apple, of course, those are the ones that are very cash generative and they now have a top spin on their earnings because they can generate more earnings from their cash as well. And I reduce my trades exposures on those speculative stocks that are not profitable. If I, I cut loss or I close on the trades on those stocks, stocks that are not, I mean, the companies are not making money or losing money or, or burning cash, those are the ones I would avoid in this environment. So those are the stocks that I continue to focus on and I continue to have bigger positions in those stocks. Right, Bang. So I know some of your self-invented strategy and one of your most profitable trade is from one called the crouching bull spread, right? Maybe can I ask a little bit on what's so special behind these strategies that you self-invented? Yeah, so a few... Uh, unique features of this strategy is number one, uh, even when the market goes sideways or slightly down, the trade would still be doing fine. So this crouching bull strategy was created in 2020, in 2022. And you know, that was last year and we went through a big bear market. And these strategies have been proven uh, profitable, not a huge profit, but it's profitable and it survived due, during the bear market. And I know that the way I constructed the trade, it will do very well then when the bull market returns. And it proves to be the case since last October when the markets reverse and goes higher from the trough. And that's why I generated good return in this year 
a big part of that is contributed by crouching boon strategies and the trades that we hired. And again, these strategies can do very well when the market is on the boom on the boom uh, run like we are seeing as uh, we, we are seeing right now. And it's doing fine when the market is going sideways or slightly down, right? When you're waiting for the bull market to return, you are paid to wait. Because this market has a positive time decay, which is we call it the theta. The time decay works in the trade favor. I don't mind how long it takes for the price to go up. As long as it's not like collapsing, I think it would be doing fine. And I experienced many times uh, with like even Nike or even Starbucks, right? It went down a lot over the past six year, six months or so. And then I, I just know that it, those are the good companies and it will turn around. And over the past two months, it started to go up and all the losses in those trades certainly turns very profitable uh, winners for me. Thanks for sharing, Bang. So I think now let's say um, I am a student and I wish to sign up for the options trading package, right? So we will be sharing your own personal trades with us in mm. a community. Yeah, for the community, I I do share some of the trades once in a while. And I every time I share, I hone hand until, I mean, I guide them through the life cycle of the trade until the trade is closed. But for, for those students who really want to see my daily trades and very details, the setup, the managing of the trade throughout the, the trades cycle, you need to get into what we call the OTP service subscription. So OTP stands for Option Tactics Playbook, where I share with the community members my own trades. And I've been very active on this uh, community where I share I mean, mainly trades a month from the beginning until the end when I close the trade. So if you really want to see my real trades with uh, all the details, the setup and the guidance, um, I would suggest you to consider OTP, um, the tool that help you uh, get started on the option trading. Right. So from what I'm hearing, the options tactical playbook has a separate um, Discord community, right? And then when right. I joined the mastery package, um, in there, we have our own in-house coaches and you are also in the group. So if I have any questions from um, the different content that was learned from the package itself, I can ask there. And then we have our own community that um, share their own perspective as well. So if they want to have more access or greater access with what you are personally doing, um, it's offered in the OTP um, Discord itself, right. right? Okay. That's correct. Okay. So maybe just to explain a little bit further on um let's say from the options trading package itself which is the knowledge building part um who is actually suitable for this course specifically maybe from the perspective that uh my capital size my level of experience and my time commitment as well yeah i could see that it will cater on different i mean profile of option traders from the beginner to the professional the busy professional to the active trader so, for example, for those who are new, right, who um, you want to be using a more simpler strategy, we do have simple strategies. And for those who have a smaller accounts, we do have strategies that you don't need like a thousand of dollars to, to enter a trade, right? A few hundred dollars will do. And for those who are busy, like full-time job, there are strategies that doesn't require you to monitor every day. Right. And, you know, I used to do both corporate job and option trading and I can do both at the same time. So really, for those who are busy, you know, you don't need to do the trade that needs um, the daily um, monitoring and, and management. Right. There are slower version of option trades if you want. Right. So uh, and then for those who are more active, of course, there are fast in fast out kind of trade and trade is that one is the one that i just talked about that one really fast right is there a minimum account size or capital size required is there a rule of thumb based on my experience i mean you don't need to have a huge account to trade options uh, a few hundred dollars could, could allow you to enter some trade already right 
but based on my experience to have a comfortable level of you know uh capital to trade different kinds of options or option trades i would say you need to have at least five thousand dollars capital five to ten thousand would be ideal right i know many students started with uh five thousand dollars and that been doing fine for them right but of course if you want to do more trades and you need to have a bigger account option itself uses less cap capital compared to investing in stocks so even with five or ten thousand dollars you could have a big exposure um, to a certain stocks already right so i would say five to ten thousand would be an ideal size of capital to start with so maybe just to do a roundup to this entire discussion, right? Uh, maybe do you have an elevator pitch for people that are currently on the fence thinking about whether should I get the Iron Shell or Iron Striker, which is level one, level two? Um, why are they a uh, good buy? Seriously, you should get both level at the same time. Of course, you need to learn level one because it's the foundational part. It's crucial that you need to learn before you get into a more advanced strategies. The first seven years, I did not do well and I went in circle because I did not take any option training properly, right? I just experiment the option by myself, went to some chat group and then people recommended this and that and I follow and I lost money most of the time until when I learned options uh, training about 11 years ago. And I thought when I came to that class, I thought I, I already knew a lot about option. The teacher taught me a very basic thing, but I realized that all I learned until that point in time was wrong. I did not trade option in the right way, right? So as I say, I was buyer on the time. So even if you thought that you already knew option and when you take the option training course, you see that you can learn a lot more things and, you, and it like correct some of the wrong perception about option or the wrong way you trade option in the past. So don't think that okay, you can skip the basic part because that part is very crucial. And between me and me and Adam, we build that, that part in a very quality way so that you have a solid foundation before you get into more advanced level. We are offering a very special discount to the option trading mastery package at the 70% discount. Is, and I would suggest you to think about the potential profit you could make or the benefit you could get from the program itself. Let me share with you my personal experience. I told you about uh, my first proper training of, I mean, the, the course that I took 11 years ago. The first basic part I paid $2,000 for that the basic foundational part of the option. And then I took another strategy, I'm Condor, and I paid another one and $1,500,000 for one strategy. Imagine we are teaching 20 strategies and all in, it's just about 1500 right? 75% discount. It's a crazy price. You could not get any better than this getting into my OTP community where you see my daily trades and managing through the closer of each trade. You could also sign up for the option bundles where we offer up to 65% discount. So, so grab the offer, take the massive action on it. I think it has been a very insightful discussion uh, about um, the course itself and what you have done and your experience thus far. So I think I just want to thank um, on behalf of the audience again for having you on. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Thank you, CK. Bye. Thanks, Bang.